Welcome back to Far Cry 6. In the last part, Camila picked us up on a boat and we headed to an island. On this island, we were expected to find a lieutenant that is close to Jose Castillo. When we arrived, we witnessed the lieutenant we wanted to capture being stabbed with a sword through his head. A backup plan had to be formed immediately. Now we were going to get information on a scientist that was there. We found this information on the scientist in Jose's villa. So after we rescue captives that are being held on the island under the lighthouse, we're going to to go and find this scientist where he works. And I guess without making y'all wait any longer, let's load this thing up. Almost to the lighthouse. I can already see some enemies on the map. Not sure if I wanna just go for it in the front or go around the side. She said the prisoners were under the lighthouse. So I feel like if I snuck around, then I'd be able to just go and free the prisoners. Yep, that's definitely where they're keeping them. Looks like there's only two guards though. I'll take this one out. Well, he's moving pretty quick. Mm -hmm. I can just take out the ones down here and then go in. Wait, there were three? Crap. Who's that? for stealth. Well, they aren't running this way, so I think we're in the clear. Let's go on in. Hopefully it's not locked. Sounds like someone's down here. Just one guard. Easy peasy. They're going to put me in the field. Excuse me. Gracias. Jose is a monster. Oh yeah, you. What's wrong with you? Nothing. What's wrong with you? Espada. Jose was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Refmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then are you going to tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. All the prisoners just ran by them like it was nothing. I feel like in 5 when you release prisoners, they would just go and fight for you. Kind of like companions or amigos in this game. I don't think there's anyone else here. Camila says she found the scientist, so we'll head to where he works next. Okay, yeah, how about we fast travel to camp and then drive to the next mission? I think that sounds good. We've been driving a lot, kind of feel like taking a horse instead. My white horse probably misses me. All right, there's my white horse. Hey, a magic horse. It is a magic horse. Come on. Easy, easy. For anyone who forgot where we're going, next mission we're going to do is meet up with Camila at this tower up ahead to find the scientist and, I guess, get some info from him? She didn't really say so. Easy!
So why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El Come Mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the Vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon e Pequeño's operation. Make him look bad in front of old Uncle Anton. A lot of heat. So how you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? And then we kill more soldiers. Simple. I like it. It's pretty far. Can't really scout it's it very sneaky. well from here. This place is huge, though. All right, let's zip line down. Oh, well, I guess I can't jump up here. Looks like we'll just have to go around. Here's an entrance, perfect. Got to be careful here. We'll go up here and take the sniper out, and this will probably be a better way to scout. I should take the sniper out across the way first. Okay, now I'll take this one out. Alright, please don't fall. Nice, perfect. Can't shoot this alarm. Can't shoot the alarm. Why? Looks like a normal alarm to me. I guess I'll trust your word for it. Where are you running off to? They keep running right before I want to shoot them. Very important message for my fellow true Yaras. Dealing with a fake Yaran is a lot like dealing with a disease. Our best chance of survival is early detection. What in the world? Why did they turn the alarm on?
some dynamite at it. Supremo! I swear I always forget to use it. And I do. It's always there for me. Reliable. Yes, finally. Alright, let's finish this. I don't think there's that many people left. Camila! <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. All right, let's talk to the scientist. Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time? Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Yeah. Vete pal carajo. <coughs> Ale. <coughs> Suéltame. <coughs> Cojones. <coughs> Now, I believe in Castillo. I believe in Viviro and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon el Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. <laughs> Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running to the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you call yourself, what is it, the spike? The sword. Wow, clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa, I'm sick. I don't care. Papa gave up on me a long time ago and you know it. Family's a bitch, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa.
Well then. It was her brother? I did not see that one coming. Okay, well, I'm gonna end this part here. Go watch the next part to see more of this family drama unfold. Bye!